Sorry to disturb you, darling. Um, could you tell me what we're looking at? This is from uh, Pete Lloyd, which you were here. Oh. Well, there's an answer. What are you looking at? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. Two men, one's on fire, they're shaking hands in the middle of the street. What, you mean like you do, casually? One's on fire. <laughs> you see, you know, downtown Austin, there's a guy on fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Austin, of course, huh? <laughs> so, Becky, you see two men shaking hands and one is on fire. Can you tell me something about what's happening that shouldn't be happening? One shouldn't be on fire. What? One shouldn't be on fire. August, your name is not Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Becky's over here. One guy probably shouldn't be on fire. <laughs> tell me something about the man who's on a fire that seems a bit odd or not. Does it seem ordinary to you? That he's on fire? No, what are you doing? He's shaking the other guy's hand. <laughs> the other guy? Okay, I'm going to see no, I'm driving at something very particular. I always thought this picture was quite successful. I'm not quite sure whether it worked on you though, Becky, but I think it's quite successful because I always thought it was interesting that, as it were, this outrageous act seemed to be going unnoticed. This may not, Kevin number two, strike you as particularly unusual. On account of it, you may of course say to yourself, Pluh, it's a photo, Pluh. This is done, Kevin, in the time before computers. There are no, tele no cell phones, no Photoshop. This is real. And I once gave a, a lecture in Japan, and we started with this. God bless Japan at the moment, having a bit of trouble I hear. Just a bit, so. You should be sorry for all that. Anyway, th I was giving a lecture to about 150 Japanese who were very expressive in their yeses and noes. They tend to do a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then they do some of that, and they do some of this. And it's, it's um, quite intense. I mean, more intense, Sharon. Hello, dear. Are you yes, with us? Yes. Oh, good. More intense than <laughs> Americans or Europeans would shake their head. Mm -hmm. And I asked them what about this picture, and I said, is it real? And they said, no. And I said, through the interpreter, so is it a fake? Am I cheating you? Am I lying? Am I doing something that's not true? And they said, no, 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 of course it's true. So they went, no, no, no. And then I said, well, are you suggesting, therefore, that I would burn someone alive in order to have a photo? Yes. That's yes. horrendous. They said, no. So in between yes and no and yes and no, there's 150 Japanese people. I could tell you it was quite a sight. <laughs> so I always thought this, again, not necessarily for Becky, I can see, that this is a real event which should have a reaction to it and doesn't. And when we thought of the idea, <coughs> it seemed very important to do it for real. So the man is literally on fire, mm -hmm. but he's not reacting. Therefore the fire is a metaphor, not a real fire, although it is real. So I was hoping that this would provide a slight conundrum. You know, that when you saw it, you didn't know whether you were looking at something real or not real. And that might persuade you to look again. This was a picture for me about absence, about the absence of commitment, the absence of loved ones, which is why this album is Becky Quintana, it's called Wish You Were Here. And that um, one of the things I did, I was talking about this the other night, that was to shrink wrap the, the album, a, a vinyl in those days, God bless those days, the burn our vinyls now. <laughs> But um, <coughs> that if if it, my picture was going to be about absence, I would in fact wrap it in sh black shrink wrap so that you couldn't see the picture, thus make it absent. This concept was somehow far too complex for the record company to to understand, and so the record company were extremely upset, thinking that this was a really interesting picture. And then what insanity would make you cover it up in black plastic? Because uh, it was not comprehensible to them. I believe there are some people 
<laughs> we may have one here. Do you believe this? We may not know. I'm saying no names my lips. <laughs> there are some people apparently, <coughs> aficionados and fans, who would take the black shrink wrap, slit it with a sharp instrument down the side to extract the record and play the record. So they got to hear the music, but they never saw the cover. In 35 years, they have never seen the cover. <laughs> so I always thought this was a great success. What could be more absent than 35 years have never seen the album cover? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm, uh, I'm um, here to sign books or sign...